Hey everybody, welcome to the April State of Play, focusing on Ratchet and Clank and some other stuff. Uh, today we're acting with us, we got Keith and Tim. Hi. Uh, so yeah, what we know about the State of Play is it's not going to be like uh, a big blowout of uh, lots of showcased games. Uh, we're getting 15 minutes of new Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart stuff. Uh <laughs> gameplay excuse or i was gonna say excuse you but that's not right what is it <laughs> bless you uh <laughs> tight. um and then we've got two uh unnamed indie things that were going to be revealed or shown off before that some new looks there uh but yeah uh how are you guys doing today um who's excited for rivet i, <laughs> I want to see i want this to be 15 minutes of rivet i mean i could take it or leave it um, what gets me most excited about this game is what gets me most excited about any potential game for the PS5, which is what they're doing with the controller. They have gone out and made the statement a while back that each gun would feel different in this game. Oh yeah, you hung which, on to that one. With the wide variety of guns that are always in every Ratchet and Clank game, that should be a treat. Yeah. Um, Keith, uh, where I always forget where you stand in the Ratchet and Clank franchise i know tim's a big fan of it uh wh what's your history with the games and are you interested at all in picking up rift apart uh i'm interested in picking up rift apart because ratchet and clank was one of my outside of final fantasy first ps2 games oh yeah yeah what did you start with was it the first one or i started with the first one yeah um I, I think i started with going commando hmm yeah, I don't know where along the line I picked it up. I genuinely can't remember the name because I only like dipped my toe into like a bunch of Ratchet Clank, but never actually sat through and finished any of them for the PS2. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, my affiliation with them is is or my affinity with them is really just like they were cute mascots in the PS2 era, and so like I was down. Um, and then yeah, I did dip my toe a bit into the 2016 uh remake or reimagining whatever you want to phrase it as um and i enjoyed what i played of that but didn't finish this either but this seems to be sort of a, a step up and i'm excited to see what they're gonna show us today i i hope and i feel like we're gonna get some significant story and character improvements since you know they're not trying to tie this one into a movie mm -hmm. um like Paul Giamatti's Chairman Drek is terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> okay. But now we're back to good old, like, Dr. Nefarious as the main villain. So mm -hmm. that makes me and I know a lot of others very happy. Mm -hmm. um, I just kind of miss some of the, like, darker, more adult humor. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, even just the names of... Uh, of going commando and up your arsenal mm -hmm. like i feel like outside i was thinking about this today actually i feel like outside of the south park games there are very few and far between intentionally funny moments in video games and i feel yeah. like ratchet and clank are have been pretty good at that in the past yeah uh, well and it's what upsets me with like naughty dog so much too is like that like Yes, I can appreciate the storytelling in the Last of Us games. Like, I, I can appreciate it, but like, I miss Jack and Daxter so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, did Did you play Jack Three? No, I haven't played any of the Jacks. Jack Jack and Daxter oh. is a, a a gap in my. So there oh. is a there's a moment in the third game, very early in the third game, where this monk who very much dislikes Jack and Daxter for their you know rough and tumble nature, uh, I would say kind of looks at them as like savages. Mm -hmm. So you've got this monk and this dark artifact falls from space and you know you solve it and jack and daxter are kind of joking about it and the monk is like do you think this is a game <laughs> and jack and daxter just both look at the player <laughs> animaniac style yeah love it yeah um the fact that they are giving this the state of play treatment like whenever we see these uh sort of state of plays sort of focused around one game and, and showing it off it always seems to go well for the for the showing and tends to bode well for the game uh yeah. for the most part so yeah I, I think they're basically throwing their confidence behind this uh but here we and go it's what we've been asking for for every game yeah at every event just, just give us showing. gameplay yeah 
Because this will be the only game, this comes out in June, so it'll be around E3 time. So if, if Sony are doing anything right now, we won't know. PS5 gameplay coming right up. But first, let's check in on two other exciting okay, games so coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles this year. Hmm? Merrick? Made it to 4546B. Landing was... A bit rough. This reminds me of that one but I don't scene. think he spotted me. Subnautica. Hi, I'm yeah, Jeff, Subnautica. audio producer at Unknown Worlds. Set okay. one year yeah. after the award-winning original, Subnautica Below Zero plunges players into a frigid underwater things. adventure in mm -hmm. search of answers. Here, the native wildlife above and below the surface might consider you a tasty treat, assuming you don't become an ice pop first. The previous research crew has vanished, including your sister. This was Sam's necklace. She never I didn't know that these games had any sort of significant truth, story. You'll need to get crafty, oh yeah. Building tools and shelter for your survival. But even that may not be enough. I never played it, but it keeps coming back into the zeitgeist. I told you to it's on the Play at Home initiative as well. Trying to like PS5 dual sense controller, just every constantly rotating in and out of yeah. <laughs> humble bundles and stuff, the just feedback constantly. Allows you to feel each adrenaline-filled chase and provides visual and audio cues as you use resources, encounter key game moments, or get into situations where it's probably best to run. By the time you squint to see what's so is ahead, it like a Minecraft situation where they're like it's always the same angle but because things are procedurally generated you're gonna get a players will get a crystal clear experience. Single game. I think so, but I think it's the same story beats. Targeting I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. in performance mode. And if you already own a physical or digital version of the first Subnautica on PS4, you'll be able to upgrade to the digital PS5 version. That's always no good. Additional That's costs. always good. Yep. We hope you're as excited as we are to dive into the world of Subnautica Below Zero when it launches on PS5 and PS4 on May 14th. Oh, that's close. Oh, no. <laughs> And so Sony finally so crushes the finish line. <laughs> I was gonna say, so this wasn't on PlayStation yet, right? Yeah, no, I guess I don't not. Think so. Oh no, the PlayStation exclusive skins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. In 2021, okay, just randomly, yeah, no oh deal. We can't wait to dive deep into Subnautica Below Zero and make baseless accusations against our crewmates in Among Us later this year. All right. Looks like Ratchet and the gang are ready for the spotlight. Next up, Insomniac Games will lead us on a tour of Dude, this Dude, I, I love the rift mechanic and just adventure. like how that is so designed around the PS5. Mm -hmm. I also love character and robot design in this game. Ah! In this series. I will die forever. <laughs> God, Clank looks so shiny. I'm not used to it. Missing info bot located. Initiating retrieval. My question is where is Secret Agent Clank? <laughs> I'm wondering if Rivet has her own Clank, or whether there's just one Clank that's shared between the two. I think she might. I'm Marcus Smith. Because I feel like I remember her saying something about needing to rivet and pull it. Brand new full-length Ratchet and Clank adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 console. Today we're going to introduce you to some of the gameplay, characters, and arsenal of Rift Apart. Whether you've played every game since Ratchet and Clank's debut, or you're brand new to the series, Rift Apart is a standalone adventure that you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. I love how much this looks like Haven City from Jack 2 as well. Clank? Mm-hmm. They called that out right from the, the first showing. I think there was a reference, right? There was like an Easter egg. Is this place? Uh, I believe there was a proto pet in a sign. Or well, no, but proto pets were Ratchet and Clank. I I think it was just very aesthetically similar. Someone around here has seen him. Have any of you seen a little gray robot anywhere? Green eyes, red antenna, very charming. Ratchet has been separated from his best friend and partner, Clank, and is now in a new dimension and a mysterious urban sprawl called Nefarious City. I love good idle animations. Mm -hmm. 
I can feel how these sections might get tedious, though, without a jump pack for Ratchet. I imagine this is super, super early, though. Or, like, this is just, like, a temporary thing where he's lost all his gear and now he has to get it all back, but I can't imagine that takes very long. Behind here. Ratchet quickly finds out that in this dimension, Dr. Nefarious is a much more capable villain. Welcome to the Nefarious City Bazaar. Please remember to thank our marvelous Emperor before, during, and after making your purchase. This is such a classic Emperor? cartoon uh, storyline. Yeah, like the went to the future and now the villain's the yeah. winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clank first, nefariously. Maybe he's in this oh, bazaar. Okay. Awesome. Thanks to the new hardware, the worlds in Rift Apart are more beautiful than ever. Creating Cities are full of life, I like traffic, it. and civilians milling about everywhere. Rift Apart is full of the unexpected. Characters in this new dimension are not always the same as they were in Ratchet and Clank's dimension. Oh, Ratchet no, comes across Mrs. Zircon. Zircon, the weapon vendor in Rift Apart. Oh, wait a second. You forgot your order. We'll come right in. Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous. <laughs> the resistance will not last. The resistance? Mm. Oh, apologies, sugar. Miss Zircon is still new to all of this espionage. So charming. Look at that fur, dude. Mm -hmm. Clank has been taken by a mysterious new Lombax named Rivet. Clank! You left! Oh. No. I need to go after that ship. How can I get off planet? It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. No. Phantom can help. Just follow the bait to Club Nefarious, and you will find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. <laughs> so I'm wondering so if exciting. Ratchet is a big figure in this Club world Nefarious still. Shouldn't be hard to miss. Yeah. Better look around. I'm just imagining like the address, like Club Nefarious, Nefarious Street, Nefarious City. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. How do I get? How do I get anywhere in here? <laughs> Keanu Reeves like as a Lombax. <laughs> That's what, like, older Ratchet is. <laughs> Just a beard, yeah. Once Ratchet finds Phantom, he learns a couple of new I moves. Wanna to see more of that club yeah. I'll disappoint it. I I I always love good movement tech though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. A blur. One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased mobility. Ratchet can now dash and wall run to traverse oh. levels. This focus oh, on mobility man. allows players to chain moves together to create exhilarating combos. Your your now let's jump into combat. The nefarious day spa. If you can distract these troopers, I'll hack Nefarious's propaganda blimp and give this city a message it'll never forget. That sounds like Skid McMarks from the first game. Looks easy enough. Dashing allows you to Ooh, evade dodge or gain strategic mm. advantages. Enemies can't hit what doesn't momentarily exist. 
God, just imagine the feedback from all these guns. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to picture it. <laughs> Dimensional tears in the world allow you to use the Rift Tether, another new traversal mechanic to instantly pull yourself across battlefields to escape or flank enemies. Weapons in Rift Apart utilize the power of the DualSense wireless controller's adaptive triggers and haptic feedback to allow players to really feel the power of their arsenal. For example, with the Burst Pistol, players can pull back the trigger partway to peck out accurately placed single shots. <laughs> oh, yeah, but dude. pulling the trigger fully uh, unleashes a rapid-fire spread that covers more area. Next gen. In either case, players will feel each shot burst from the weapon and connect with enemies. With the Enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing time between reloads. Or pull the trigger fully and unleash both barrels with a devastating close-range attack. Thanks to the haptics, the player will feel the power of their shots through their hands. I love this whole idea of alternate firing mode Let's based on trigger sensitivity. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna make things... Interesting. As Ratchet attempts to follow Rivet and Clank, he encounters a nefarious juggernaut. Ooh, I like that health bar. This is like baby or this fight, more dimensional chaos ensues. <laughs> Thanks to the power of the SSD, we can near instantly teleport players to completely different <laughs> he follows, locations. Holy shit. This isn't some oh, yeah. small arena being loaded. But My world horizon zero doll. From a different planet. It would be such a missed opportunity if they don't have one. It, it would be kind of ass, though, because it would be, like, Let's jump over and see too much of a fourth wall break. But, like, if he did jump dimensions and enter another PS5 game for, like, a oh, bit, yeah. that would be so great. <laughs> As you may have guessed, Rivet is a brand new playable character in the series. Where are you taking me? I was going to take you to my hideout. But first, I got to rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. Who's that voice out there? I recognize her. It's not Tara Strong, right? No, I don't think so. Uh, well. Rift Apart includes several alternate dimension versions of classic planets from past games. Jennifer Hale. Who is that? I know that name. Mass Effect Shem Mass Effect Stem Chef. Did we mention how stunning and alive our worlds are? Thanks to the power of the PS5 and the 3D audio, we've been able to create alien planets with an immersive See, density it, you like know never what else before. I really Let's stand. Check it out. Speed Go ahead. Yeah. Games that give me more That's reasons to use these. One. Soon as I can get close enough. Back to Once Ms. you start talking about 3D audio on top Whoa. of the adaptive feedback, this or like haptic feedback my and adaptive last triggers, time. oh man. You, you got me. I yeah, I am thinking. I saw a few times about picking up the 3D audio headset, but like, I couldn't justify it, but. In Rift the more games I didn't, more, um, explosive I, new I didn't feel a significant well a impact with Resident process. Evil, but I'm willing to give it another shot when the game actually comes out, because that feels like a game that's made for that kind of immersive audio. Here's another example of how we're using the dual sense. With the topiary sprinkler, players will feel resistance in the trigger as they prepare oh a God, throw of this garden grenade. Once on the ground and spitting out its rapid growth plant fertilizer, players will also feel when enemies have been topiaried and are ready to be trimmed down. So not only is it an auto turret, but it's a stupid transformation weapon too. I love it. Ratchet and Clank is great for all the stupid weapons it has. Oh yeah. In addition to rift tethering and dimensional shifts, there are also many pocket dimensions scattered throughout the game. And the last speedo runs into that rift thingy. Interesting. You must have a rift tether in your glove too. All right, 
smarty bot. What is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? Hey, it's Maynard! The Mortz's helper bot! Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the Speedle. No, no! Don't hide! Ugh. Hitting its nest might get its attention. <laughs> I hope these sections get crazy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. from this acid. Come on, Maynard! Let's find the Morts! Riding Speedles is one way of traversing Sargasso's acid swamps, and to do so quickly. Excuse me! Look out! I got it! I got it! They're just flexing so hard right now. Mm -hmm. dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs so you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at one <laughs> hang on there now if you watched our previous gameplay demo you may recognize the goons for less this rebranded gang has been hired by dr nefarious to attack ratchet and clank and are now also trapped in rivet's dimension here's another new weapon the shatter bomb is a frag type grenade that deals a lot of damage to your foes with haptic feedback, each explosion feels incredibly impactful. You can find a I swear, you guys, it's amazing. <laughs> Hopefully, you can play it. <laughs> we wish we could. <laughs> I will say, at least Rivet is sassy. Because well. mm -hmm. Ratchet lost a lot of that. I like how they kept that missed missed shot and stuff in there. This is just a small taste of some of the early gameplay in Rift Apart, but there is so much more. Oh no, he shadowed the hedgehog now. We have open area. <laughs> he is, to dude. Oh my god. Uh, Dimensional clank puzzles. puzzles. Glitch challenges. Spider bot. Arena challenges. Ooh. Bring back the up your arsenal stuff. Aerial combat. Dragons. Thank you. <laughs> Gold bolts to collect. Pocket dimensions to explore. Oh, thank you. I armor recognize some of that armor and too. Use in the first ever From Ratchet and Clank photo mode. Yeah, they're they're skinning the hell out of this one. And giving more people access to playing our games is always important to us. As such, Good. Rift Apart will offer a slew of accessibility options. We'll reveal more about this soon. Experience that was like the crash. Weapons, yeah. intense high action combat, and near instant load times, all with some of the best visuals we've ever created. How about that, huh? Yeah, a lot of this reminds me of like Crash 4, but more polished, I hate to say. <laughs> On behalf Dude, of all of us at Insomniac Games, good job. thank you yeah. for watching. We'll see you in the Omniverse on June 11th. God, I was really hoping they That's would uh, we the drop a demo of there. <laughs> a first look at Among Us on PlayStation and zipped across space and time in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Too much of a money maker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, dude. I know. We're never getting PlayStation Thanks first for party watching. demos. We'll see you again soon. Ugh, that 15 minutes flew by, dude. I was enjoying the hell out of that. Yeah. Chicken clank. What a wonderful this is the trailer. Mm -hmm. yep. 
What do you want, Nefarious? We're going to a dimension where I always win! <laughs> Clank? Where am I? A Wombax? Who are you? I'm Rivet. Let's go for a ride. Wait, I have to find my friend. <laughs> Clank is such a dork. <laughs> Emperor Nefarious, you have returned. I love this. I love this one. Such a good gag. Clank. <laughs> 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 You're nefarious. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him, too. And that Lombax. I'm coming, Clank. If we do not I get the dimension in here now, too. we may lose every dimension. Oh, my. This world has skill. showing yeah but wait we have one more thing no that no <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not a chance no, that was really Definitely really good not. that was just a, a straight up cartoon uh the only way that could have got better is literally if they said like hey it's only like an r but here's a demo but it's like yeah. way too soon even for that oh my god i just want that game now i wasn't even that hard in on ratchet and clank before the showing uh, I knew I was yeah. probably going to get it, but I was like, I wasn't anticipating it. That just it. really sells the game. Yeah, it was just so fun. Uh, Tons of interesting and diverse locations, mm -hmm. plenty of fun and interesting weapons. They mentioned at the top, uh, like, hey, this is a standalone adventure. If you haven't played any of the other ones, don't, don't worry about the 2016 one. It was free on PSN, but don't, you don't have to play it. Just get this one. Uh... And yeah, a lot of the stuff they were driving home about the dual sense and the haptic feedback sounds really, really cool. And the uh, adaptive triggers, they're like pulling in a little bit to like unlock some of the weapon, but yeah. pulling it in the full way for the, the whole blast. Uh, really, really good showing. And yeah, it obviously you, you had your, your criticisms, Tim, of the, the 2016 one. Did you feel like this was giving off sort of more of what you wanted? More. Like it hasn't turned ratchet back into the kind of somewhat of an asshole that he was in the original games he's still very much like your bushy-tailed heroic character that was in 2016 yeah but now we're kind of getting that like sarcastic asinine character seemingly with rivet mm -hmm. so i'm looking forward to seeing like the duality of that and how rivet potentially impacts ratchet yeah i'm all about rivet I wonder, like, yeah, I wonder how they'll... It probably won't be till end game, but I, I can't wait to see how them two interact, uh, Rivet and, and, and Ratchet. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a Clank equivalent, unless, like, Rivet's Clank died or something. That's going to be brought up. I don't know if it'll get that heavy. But no, it just it just looked like dumb fun. Yeah. Um, And yeah, they were really flexing with... As as Keith said at the start, the reflections on Clank, the size of the environments, the scale, and like just that rift mechanic is such a a next gen feeling thing. So good. Um, yeah, there there is so much to legitimately be excited for about this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I did mention it. I looked up at times like Baby Returnal with with the combat, which is like praise because uh, it, it did look fun and engaging uh and then yeah the the other two things that they, they showed was subnautica below zero uh a, a follow-up to the original subnautica um and, go, and among us yeah <laughs> unfortunately um i was gonna bring up one night once so fast it recently came out that the biggest cash cow for fortnite is playstation 4 Oh yeah. Ahead of all other platforms including iOS, including everything, which surprised me. So like it's it's honestly amazing how Among Us hasn't made it to PlayStation by now already. 
Uh, but yeah, weird one. Uh, they may have wanted crossplay or something. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it could have just been. Yeah, I, I, as far as I know, they're like they didn't run with their success and make themselves a massive team, so they're still like it, it still takes time for them to make things and updates and such. But yeah, yeah, they didn't uh, massively blow up their their team like Epic. Um, that's actually what Telltale did, and it caused them to die, basically. Yeah, because after fun. Walking Dead, they were like. Everyone, hire everyone, make all the licensed games. Uh, yeah, that was just a fun state of play. I think, yeah, that's like they couldn't talk about Ratchet and Clank during E3 June time, so let's get it out of the way here. Um, and yeah, it was just a really, really good showing. Yeah, and you saying it looks like Returnal to uh, to quote Maximilian, dude, it looks like a video game ass video game. <laughs> yeah, dude, mm -hmm. that's like. Honestly, you don't see it a lot nowadays. I was, uh, I keep going back in my head to when they were showing off Doom Eternal, one of the E3s. Yeah. And like, yeah, it was just straight up video game as video game. And like, I was yeah, like, yeah, it's just dude. Arcade yeah. And you don't have to always be immersive. Sometimes it's okay to break the immersion. Yeah. And sometimes it's okay to just shoot shit to shoot shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's still fun. It's still fun. Anyway. Uh, I don't know if we have anything more to say on that. It was a short showing, but it was a good showing. Uh, I don't think so. Just yeah. mainly, I'm hype. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's going to be it from us. Uh, you can uh, keep up to date with all of our written stuff at playhouse.news. Uh, me and John will be talking about this and a bunch of other news stories on Saturday uh, on our weekly podcast, Playhouse Live, uh, which you can find here if you want to watch it live at 4 p.m. Central and also available on podcast services and YouTube afterwards. And keep up to date with us on Twitter at Interplayhouse uh, so you never miss any of our stuff. And yeah, we'll see for whenever the next one of these happens, whether it be Nintendo, Xbox, or A State of Play. Uh, we will see you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.